Hey guys, this is Jacob here with the part 2 of my Erika. Uh, I've put this build together for around 150 FEs and it is doing over 2 billion DPS so fully capable of farming time mark 8. Now uh, I wanted to play something else that, than chain lightning because you can find a lot of chain lightning videos on YouTube but you, I, I did not find any any video of uh, like this variant so you can find thunder spike on youtube you can find chain lightning on youtube and this will be like my variant with swift shadow raid i found this on america's server so there are people playing it on america's uh how the skill works uh it is a movement skill and it is consuming agility blessings to reset its cooldown so you can use it indefinitely as long as you are able to generate agility blessings so the only uncomfortable map mod is the one that consumes blessings but it is still manageable because we are reducing the cooldown of this skill a lot so you will still be able to clear it um, under 150 FEs we can check it here uh, uh, the important things like this to be able to automate your uh, first start uh, the boots i've bought one with plus three mobility skill level but it would probably be, be better to buy ones with more additional damage for the starter but these were cheap so i bought them uh, then these three are not necessary those are just quality of life and not really needed uh, but you can get them fairly cheap. I've bought like almost perfect versions of them. So almost perfect version of still attack is for around 80. But you can get like lower damage ones for like 10. So yeah, those are cheap as well. Medium preparations with 8 seconds. I've been buying for 50. But those are not necessary. Those will just automate your buff skills. But you need to press your buff skills one uh like the burst you need to you need to press it once during the map and then you will just you would just be pressing the electrocute curse every now and then so not really necessary so i'm not counting these into i'm not counting these three into the base price and then repeat it end since it is a cheap unique and you can abuse its explode so i've bought that one you can get the cheap ones for like five fe's i've bought this, this corrupt for 25 um no, not really needed just buy the, the base version armor for 20 with energy shield and some resistances shield for 15 like buy anything with energy shield and some resistances Gloves the same, energy shield, resistances and fervor is important here. Helmet with energy shield and aura effect. And then what I added later is this. Was 38 but you can buy 21% minus 21% additional damage for like 7. So that's also really cheap so you even with this you will still be in the 150 budget. So yeah, and that's dealing this. So fully capable of clearing time mark eight. Uh, in my packed spirits, I'm using this one to get my resistances because I'm using Eternity. But if you don't have Eternity, you can use the set amulet, and you can get you can you like don't need this packed spirits to get a fifteen percent element resistance because. I'm using three set pieces and if you add the fourth set piece, the amulet, you will get the 15 all res from the set. So yeah, that's covered here as well. So really cheap, 150 FEs for time mark 8 maps. And now let's get over the build. Uh, talent, Goddess of Hunting, focusing on Flicker. Additional cooldown recovery speed for mobility skills and attacks and cast speed for mobility skills. And the, the second one is rushed. So it gives you additional damage if you've moved recently. And this talent 3 looks like this. 
I will put a link to the builder in the description of the video. <coughs> the second one is Blade Runner. Conductive gives you additional shock damage. And Queer Angle uh, triggers your damage lucky against shocked enemies. What that does, like Lucky performs a random check or a random roll twice and picks the result that benefits you the most. And since lightning damage has a like large spread, it is it has a really low lower number and really high higher number. You are rolling that twice and it chooses the higher number from those two rolls. So that's what Lucky does. So it really helps there. And the tree looks like this. And here I'm I'm generating agility blessings when using mobility skills. So the, that way the our active skill is like self-sustained through this passive node, basically. So yeah. And the third one is warlock to reduce your cooldowns. So additional cooldown recovery speed and off the beaten track to reduce the mana cost of your auras through this. Yeah, and other skills as well, but auras is the main like point because mana multiplier is fi uh, support skills mana multiplier is fixed at n at ninety five percent. That means that whenever you add like a link to an aura, uh, all the mana multipliers here are ninety five percent instead of one hundred. So. I think this actually reduces the like life cost. If I put it down, see I have like less life now. And if I put it back in, I have more life because because this is ninety five percent multiplier, and all all of them have ninety five percent multiplier. So yeah, you are reducing the cost of your auras, and it lets you like reserve more auras easily, like. That statue of the god. I just put in whatever I found. Uh, yeah, did not bother with that yet. So that will be a part for the next video. For the hero relics, also I've just used what I found, and then I added this to open the lightning fast, which is this talent here. <clears throat> I've been testing like using electrified flash or thunder uh, both seem to like result in similar damage at this point of the build So use whichever you like more like try both and choose the one that gives you more consistent damage I'm swapping them like every now and then trying trying to swap in them all the time <clears throat> uh, Yeah, I've showed you the gear already um now the skills. So the main damage skill is, or main main skill is Swift Shadow Raid. M main damage is your like hero trait actually. So yeah, Swift Shadow Raid. Uh, dashes forward like this, and consumes agility blessings, which I have four all the time because I'm generating them as I'm using the skill. Supported by still attack, activation medium still attack. If you don't have that one, it works perfectly fine even without it. Uh, for bosses, I would suggest you to like lock the auto aim here. Because then you can target the boss and just hold the skill and it will keep like charging through the boss. I don't need that because the automation uh, does it for you. Hardened gives you more defense and additional damage, uh, additional physical damage, additional lightning damage. Why additional physical damage might seem like weird, but you are converting all the physical damage to lightning damage through your passive skills, so that's why this is here. And lightning penetration. Uh, yeah, if you don't have still attack, uh, put in electric overload and you will be perfectly fine. Uh, for start, with the energy shield medium, activation medium, to automate your energy shield regeneration, sort of. So that helps with that. Uplifting increases its effect 
iron fortification gives you some sorts of armor and extended duration to increase the like armor uh, armor uptime from that skill you don't need the uh, defensive layer here or defense layers here for the uninterruptible shield charge because you are getting that from your warlock tree uh, from this node third skill electrocute chorus activation medium preparation if you don't have that one don't need that one you will just have to press the cross every now and then Tenen of Malice makes the curse your AoE around you and Abysmal Hatred to increase its effect. Burst Anger with Mania, again if you don't have the activation medium preparation you just need to press it once during the map at the start and you should be able to clear the entire map and keep the buff up so yeah if it falls you just press the skill again that's it. So if you don't have activation pre uh, activation preparation, put in extended duration or pain amp to increase its duration so you don't have to press it as often and that's it. Fixate activation medium elite. This is like uh, cheap. Uh, this is really cheap and I had it already so I just used it. If you don't have it you, you will just have to press the skill on a boss or like yeah I'm not I don't really care about this skill. If you find a tankier boss or tankier elite, you just press the skill and you have chance to deal double damage and it marks the marks the enemy as well, so you deal more critical strike damage. For the auras, elemental resistance for now. Later on you will want to swap it for precise elemental resistance because we will be scaling a lot of damage from our like uh, excess of Lightning resistance, so precise elemental resistance is the future upgrade here. And upgrade it with, uh, uh, support it with more aura effect. So selfishness 10 plus 1 and aura amp and seal conversion to uh, reserve it on life. Energy shield fortress, selfishness 10 plus 1 aura amp. If you have enough energy shield, uh, you might consider swapping it for set fast to get some more or, uh, armor. A armor source that's what I will be doing later probably once I get Imperial Might armor uh, but yeah that's a luxury item for the uh, for the end build so yeah until that I'm using energy fortress for more energy shield fearless gives you melee critical strike rating melee critical strike damage and melee skill area makes it easier for you uh, to hit enemies with this skill if you don't have the activation medium which uh, like auto targets uh, and again selfishness stand as one aura amp and the last one is electric conversion gives you additional lightning damage definitely later on or if the auras are cheap I did not check uh, by the precise versions of them wherever possible it will yield you more damage for the canvas I had I don't have any yet but yeah that's the material for the next video They'll, they will give us a lot of damage actually so those were the skills now let's do a map just to show you that it is capable of clearing it I'm not using eternity for the run just to show you I will do time mark 8 in wide lands and yeah let's go this is how the build plays uh, might feel a bit uh, might feel a bit clunky uh, until you like get into the uh, get into the controls because you are always blinking so the screen is always moving and you cannot really like uh, uh, control where it will blink but if you have uh, a huge like density map and open map you can you can just put your hands out and as the monsters come in uh, it will keep killing them and blinking around so sometimes I don't even need to use my hands 
and the map gets cleared automatically for me and feels like bottom almost so yeah this is like time mark 8 so you can see that like clearing time mark 7 maps would be a breeze with this insta kills time mark 7 boss one phase is time mark 8 boss yeah so that's the build that's the second phase of the build and the next upgrade I will make a video for that, for that once I get to that phase, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching, I will see you in the next one. Bye!